Welcome to the Personal Perseverance Project. My name is David Atkins, retired New York State trooper, million dollar direct sales, international business earner, author, and keynote motivational speaker, where each week I come here to help you break through your excuses so you can live a life up to your fullest potential. Let the project begin. That is my mindset. I operate on a level of excellence and you guys need to wake up every single day and you need to operate on a level of excellence and create your masterpiece. What's up guys? It's your host David Atkins here and in this episode of the Personal Perseverance Project, I want to talk to you about the power of having a morning routine. Now here's the deal. The the title of this podcast, Personal Perseverance Project, perseverance is my favorite word in the dictionary, and it's there for a reason because it requires grit. It requires discipline. It requires hard work. So I'm here to tell you that when it comes to having a morning routine, not only is it so powerful, but I'm not just suggesting this. I am telling you this is a must do. This is something that you have to incorporate in your life if you want to succeed at the highest level. You cannot wake up every single day and immediately go into reactive mode, immediately go into taking care of the kids, getting yourself ready for work, rushing out the door, feeling overwhelmed before you even get to work, sweating, because I used to be there, sweating when I got to work in my suit when I was an investigator with the state police because I literally would get up and immediately go into the craziness of life. And I know a lot of you right now that are listening to this probably live this way each and every day. But I can tell you over the last 13 years, having a very structured, disciplined, powerful morning routine has catapulted me to why I am where I am today. It has set me up for success. Because guys, here's the deal. There's only 24 hours in a day. No more, no less. And when I studied the most successful people, when I started reading the books of the authors that I wanted to be like or learn from, I learned this. It's not that you need more than 24 hours in a day because we're all busy. Everybody is busy. You may be watching this and saying, I'm so busy. No, it's not that we're so busy. The most successful people manage their time more effectively. And the most successful people are having a morning routine. They are getting up before the majority of the world is getting up And therefore, they're getting an hour or two-hour jump start on the world. And I know some people, when it comes to morning routine, the first thing they think of is exercise, and that's one of the vital things. And I know so often people are like, I'll get it done later in the day. And maybe you will. But more times than not, life gets in the way. You're going to have things that are going to happen throughout the day. And then so often you're like, I will get to it tomorrow. Successful people do not operate this way. Either you control your hours or they control you. And most people wake up every single day and they make their decisions based on what happens to them throughout the day. Whatever circumstances happen to them throughout the day, they then respond to those circumstances throughout the day. But successful people, they are intentional with their time. They are disciplined with their time. They are consistent in how they show up every single day. Now, guys, this is not going to be easy. If you are going to have a structured morning routine, I will teach you how to win. I'm going to go over 10 benefits of having a morning routine. So if you're listening to this or you're watching this, you definitely want to take notes or maybe come back to it and write these things down. I'm going to give you 10 points of a morning routine, but I'm going to tell you this. Nothing that I'm ever going to share in this podcast is meant to be easy. For for everybody out there that watches all of the highlight reels on social media, because the truth is most people are only willing to share their highlight reel on social media. Most people aren't willing to actually share the work it took to get there. And if you are also somebody that's comparing 
your everyday life, your trials and tribulations in your life to somebody else's highlight reel on social media, that is a dangerous place to live because most people aren't willing to tell you the truth. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you how important having a structured morning routine is. I'm going to share with you 10 things of why it's going to be important. But I'm also telling you it's something that's going to be hard, but it's something that you must do if you want to level up your life. You must have perseverance to get there. And also, I will tell you this. Everybody out there on social media that makes it out, oh, they're in their fancy cars and their jets and they call themselves entrepreneurs and this is what you need to do. I'm not just taking this because I Googled this information. I'm sharing it with you. Guys, I rose through the ranks of the state police and ran an entire county in New York that was a super busy place retiring as a captain. I built a business and became a million-dollar earner leading a team of 1,400 people internationally. I published and wrote a book, Becoming an Author. I have spoken as a keynote speaker in front of thousands of people and then have done breakout sessions to teach people how to take what I have learned to succeed in their life. So I'm sharing this because I'm only going to share what I have done that's helped me succeed, but it will take hard work and it will take perseverance. Okay. I'm probably going to have Every podcast is going to start off with, if you are looking for the easy way out, this is not the place for you because the easy way out never lasts. And if you have a little bit of success by taking a shortcut, it's like building a house on an unstable foundation because eventually it's going to fall and collapse. But if you want real talk, if you want honesty on how to succeed, to feel fulfilled, to achieve the highest level in your life, well, then you're in the right place. And I'm starting this month with the power of a morning routine. So guys, let's dive right into this, okay? The first thing I want to talk about, point number one is you need to take care of yourself first, right? If you've ever been on an airplane and they say if the plane ever was to go, go, go down and the oxygen mass fall down from above you, they say to give yourself the oxygen first before you give the oxygen to the person next to you. You need to take care of yourself first. So many people, you're burning the candle at both ends. You cannot pour from an empty cup. How can you be the best version of yourself? How can you be the best employee? Or how can you be the best business owner? Or how can you be the best mom or dad or sister and brother if you are exhausted all the time? Taking care of yourself first, having a structured morning routine that you do for yourself first. It is not selfish. It is selfless because you set yourself up to be the best version of yourself throughout the day. You need to put yourself first. You have to stop thinking you need to put everybody else first because then you are constantly stressed out, exhausted, and overwhelmed all the time. Okay. Number two, point number two, is you will be more productive throughout the day. Now, guys, when I talk about what are the specifics when it comes to what you should be doing in your morning routine, I'm actually going to dive into the specific things and break them down and why that's important over the next couple of weeks. But this episode is really giving you why you need to have a morning routine and why it's important. Because the main area is, yes, it's going to be working on yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. Those are the main three areas, right? Physicality, how you feel, your mental, your mindset, and your spirituality, your relationship with God or the universe or whatever you believe in, okay? But um, the point number two is you're going to be more productive throughout the day. Why is that? Because human beings are more productive early in the morning. You ever notice as the days go on, maybe if you're on a diet, you tend to make more, you know, you take tend to, tend to make bad food choices later in the day. You tend to kind of slip off. You tend to not be having, you may not have the most clarity. You're not the most disciplined. Well, that's just science. Your body has more clarity and is more productive early in the morning. And when you get up in the morning and you take care of yourself first, you will be less stressed you will be less overwhelmed. You will have more energy throughout the day because you're going to work on things such as your physical, mental, and spiritual parts of your life. So getting up early in the morning is going to make you more productive throughout the day. Number three, you're going to handle life better 
because you're either in a problem, coming out of a problem, or there's a problem on the horizon tomorrow. And when life tries to knock you down, because you took care of your mindset and your physical well-being early in the morning and you did that, you will handle and react to situations that normally may be the tipping point because you're already overwhelmed and stressed out. You will handle them better. And why would you not want to be a better human being at work, as a parent, as a husband, as a wife, as a girlfriend and boyfriend? You will handle life better, okay? Point number four for my parents out there. Your kids will get the best of you, not what's left of you. They deserve the best of you, not what's left of you. And I can tell you that one of the number one excuses that I hear when people say they don't have time to take care of their physical and mental and emotional and spiritual health is, I'm just so busy. My kids have this going on. My kids have that going on. Listen, my friends, there are people out in the world with more kids than you that are out there killing the game and succeeding at a higher level than you, and we have the same amount of time. So really, it's an excuse. Stop blaming your kids for why you don't have time to take care of yourself. Your kids, like I said, deserve the best of you, not what's left of you. And by having a productive morning routine, by taking care of yourself first, everybody around you and those closest to you, which are your kids, will benefit from you doing and having a productive morning routine. Guys, number five, I know a lot of people, and the point is this. You need to get to bed earlier to start this cycle, all right? You need to get to bed early to start this cycle because some people may say, you know what? For me to have a productive morning routine, I can never get up. I'm not a morning person. Well, you know what? Your morning routine actually starts the night before. You need to go to bed earlier. Right now, presently, I'm getting up. My alarm goes off at 4.15 a.m., And people are like, David, what time do you go to bed? Like, I don't get to bed to 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Well, that's that's the problem. I'm getting to bed at 9.30, so I'm getting about seven hours of good quality sleep. Why? Because what are you doing that's so productive from 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night? Probably watching TV, nothing that's serving your life to be better. And again, this... This podcast and what I'm sharing with you is so you succeed at a higher level, so you can get better. And I'm telling you, staying up 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night is not serving you because you will get a lot more accomplished that will impact in a positive way your entire day by getting up a little earlier and having a productive morning routine. But for you to start being a morning person, you have to start that cycle the night before so that by the time you get up in the morning, yes, it will be hard early on, right? This may take a couple weeks, but by the time you get up in the morning, you'll be able to get up because you went to bed at 9.30, okay? So you need to get to bed earlier, and then guess what will happen after you get up that first morning? You will start getting tired 9, 9.30 at night instead of you saying, oh, I'm a night owl. No, you're a night owl because that's that what your body's adjusted to. You have to start the cycle and go to bed earlier get up earlier, and then by that time at night, 9, 9.30, you can go to bed, or 10 o'clock, and maybe you're getting up at 5 a.m. It's different from everybody, but I believe productive morning routine, you need an, at least an hour, an hour of quality time for yourself, and I'm going to dive into what I actually do. I actually use two hours in the morning, and we'll dive into that at a later time. Okay, number six is you're going to sleep better. I know I talked about adjusting your schedule So you have a productive morning routine, but you're going to sleep better. Why? Because when you get up in the morning and you take care of yourself physically and mentally and you're more productive throughout the day, you will feel fulfilled. You will feel more at peace. You will be less stressed and you will sleep better. It's a fact. When you exercise, you sleep better. Better When you take care of your mindset and you're at peace and you're not stressed out going to bed all the time because I'm going to talk about things like meditation and you're not stressed out all the time, you're not going to be up all night thinking. So by having a productive morning routine with the things I'm going to share on later episodes, you will sleep better. Guys, number seven, and I love this. When you get up in the morning, no one is awake to bother you. Why? Because I know the vast majority of the world is asleep. And the vast majority of the world knows, you know what? If I get up a little earlier, 
and I start my day a little earlier, maybe I won't be so stressed out and overwhelmed and going right into the craziness of life. But here's the thing. Common sense isn't always common practice. I'll say that again. Common sense isn't always common practice. And there are people, the vast majority of the world, I like to say 98% of the world lives life by default, where they wake up every single day and they respond and do their, they go through the motions in life and they respond to whatever happens to them. But two percenters, a 2% mindset, a winning mindset, the people succeeding at the highest level, right? They understand they need to have a structured morning routine and they know how great it is because in the morning, nobody's bothering you. Your kids are still asleep. Maybe your spouse, if you're lucky, if you can get them. We're not lucky because my wife gets up early in the morning, but it's a time that you have alone time. The world is still asleep. More times than not, like right now when I wake up, it's still dark out. There's a sense of calm. Nobody's expecting you to answer your emails, you know, super early, 5, 6 a.m., 4, 5, 6 a.m., okay? You don't, you're not going to your inbox at that time in the morning. You are simply going to be able to be more productive in the morning because no one else is awake. It's, it's like the most peaceful time is is in the morning and having a productive morning routine. All right, number eight, you create momentum into all areas of your life. Guys, when you have a productive morning routine and you go out and you get 30 minutes of exercise in or you do that meditation or you read some good personal development, and I'll get into that, but when you do these things, you create momentum because now you already have a few wins under your belt first thing in the morning. And that will carry over to how you show up throughout the rest of the day. As soon as you get to work, you've already created momentum, right? A body in motion stays in motion, right? You created momentum because you have some wins under your belt and it feels so good mentally. And I'll tell you this, most people wait for motivation to start. It doesn't work that way. You need to start and then you will start feeling motivated. You need to start and then you will create the momentum. So having these wins early in the morning is going to create momentum and give you motivation to be more successful and productive during the day. Number nine, you'll be more prepared and less overwhelmed. Why? Because when you take care of your mindset and yourself physically, you are not going to be operating uh, where you're like on a short fuse all day. You're not going to feel as overwhelmed. The, the, the mental benefits, all the endorphins that fire off after exercise and when you read a good personal development book and you meditate and you do gratitude and you have prayer and you have this alone time, my goodness, you will be so much more prepared and less overwhelmed throughout the day. And the last thing, guys, number 10 is you're going to be happier. Why? Because you are going to be doing better. You are going to be growing. You are going to have better physical health. You are going to have better mental health. You are going to have a better relationship with God or whatever your the universe or whatever it is that you believe in. You're going to be happier throughout the day. So guys, these 10 things I went over, I'm not suggesting that this may help you. I'm telling you, whatever it is that you want to do in your life, Right now, whatever goals you have, whatever dreams you have, number one, I hope you're acting on them and you're not sitting around waiting for the perfect time. You're never going to have the perfect time or perfect moment. It's about creating it, okay? But I'm telling you that the most successful people are getting up before the majority of the world is still asleep. They're getting a jump start on the world and they're going through their morning routine and they are benefiting from all 10 things I just went over. So guys, the first thing I want you to start is I want you to start adjusting your sleep cycle. I want you to start implementing a morning routine on the next couple of episodes. I'm going to dive into what my morning routine is, but I need you to start doing and stop waiting. It's the start that stops most people. So don't wait for me to give you my specifics of my morning routine. If you follow me on social media, you will learn a lot about it if you really want to know, but you just need to start. You need to start doing things and taking care of yourself first. You deserve it. 
Your family deserves it. Your kids deserve it. The people you interact with deserve it. Everybody deserves to get a better version of you. And you deserve to feel good. You deserve to be happier. You deserve not to be stressed out all the time. You deserve to have a fit, healthy, strong, vibrant body, a person that other people want to be around, that when you walk in a room, you have that sense of energy that pulls people towards you instead of just coming in with your shoulders slumped over and people like you're just like everybody else. The world needs a, some shock therapy of having a productive morning and energy to go out there and go after their goals and dreams and live up to their fullest potential. So guys, with that, if this was helpful, please Share this episode. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Follow me on social media. Um, all the links below uh, for my book and all the different things. You can find me on social in the links below in the description. But guys, get out there. You know, Have a productive morning routine. I'm putting these episodes out on Monday because it's Monday if you're listening to this as soon as it launched. And I want you to get out there. I want you to go after it. And I want you to live up to your fullest potential and achieve the things that you are meant to achieve in all areas of your life. Guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Personal Perseverance Project. My goal every single day is to help people live up to their fullest potential. So please share this episode, subscribe to my channel, and maybe even leave a review. Be sure to connect and follow me on all my social media channels. And if you would like more information about me potentially being a keynote speaker at your event, or maybe you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one as your private coach, be sure to go to my website at davidakinspeaks.com for more information. Thank you. Thank you.